Hey guys, Ross Campbell from BulletproofGuitarPlayer.com here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The topic of today's video is building speed on the guitar. It's certainly something that we as guitar players tend to obsess about, especially in the earlier stages of our guitar playing journeys, let's say. And how do you build speed? Do you just stick on a metronome at a random tempo and increase the BPM whenever you feel like it? How much should you increase the BPM by when you decide to move up in speed? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna share with you a tip for building speed effectively over the course of a week, whether it's a lick that you're practicing or a song, this will apply to anything really that you wanna build speed with on guitar. So this is a method that I was first shown when I was in my first year of studying guitar at university. My guitar teacher at the time, Jed Brocky, shared this with me and it completely changed my approach to building speed on the guitar. In fact, changed isn't the right term, it actually gave me an approach to follow for building speed on the guitar because before I knew about this method, I, like many of you probably watching this, I would just think, oh, well, I'll just stick on a metronome at 120 beats per minute and then I'll increase it when I want to by, I don't know, 10 beats per minute. There was no method for, let's say, progressive overload uh, in terms of building speed with licks that I wanted to play at higher tempos. So this method revolves around first establishing what you would call a target tempo for something. A target tempo is a tempo at which you could play, say, an exercise almost 100% clean, but not quite. It's like you can almost play it cleanly, but it's also on the edge of falling apart at any moment. So in order to establish that first, you need to have a play around with an exercise of your choice and have a player in with a metronome and figure out how fast can you play it so that it's almost clean, but also there's a few mistakes in there. So let's take that classic Paul Gilbert alternate picking exercise as an example, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a very simple exercise for building speed with alternate picking, and it looks and sounds like this. <laughs> Classic alternate picking exercise right there. Now, I might have an ultimate end goal tempo for you know how, how fast I wanna play this. And that will most likely be well beyond what my target tempo is gonna be. For example, if I try and play this, let's say my end goal tempo would be like, I don't know, something ridiculous, like 210 beats per minute. Let's listen to that. <laughs> See, I can already tell if that's my end goal tempo, it, it really is because that was not even close to sounding clean, to my ears at least. So let's dial that back a bit and figure out a suitable target tempo. Let's start and maybe start at like 160. <laughs> Okay, so that's also not gonna be my target tempo because I can play that cleanly without much of a struggle. I feel like I could actually keep that up for a while, so let's bump that up by 10 beats per minute. 170. Again, I can play that cleanly, so we need to push it a bit more until we reach that sort of breaking point. Let's, let's go up 20 beats per minute, see how we get on with 190. Okay, I feel like 190 would be a suitable target tempo for me because there was parts there that sounded fairly clean, but there was also clearly mistakes in there. You know, I was hitting bum notes and open strings. So, because that's almost clean, I'm gonna establish 190 as my target tempo. Now, how the way to build up to 190 for me would be 
let's uh it's thursday today that we're shooting this but let's say it's sunday today is sunday and by this saturday i want to have reached 190 cleanly with that alternate picking exercise <laughs> So what I'm going to do to get there is on the Sunday, on day one, I'm going to start at 172 beats per minute. And I'm going to put on a click, a metronome at 172 beats per minute. And I'm going to play that exercise just at that tempo alone for say three minutes straight or until my hands get tired. So let's listen to 172. And what you're going to find is that if you've done a good job of establishing an appropriate target tempo is that on day one, your starting tempo is gonna be very manageable for you to play it cleanly. So let's listen to that, 172. Was able to repeat that quite a few times there without much difficulty at all so what i would do on that day one is i'd sit down at 172 beats per minute and like i said i'd play that for three minutes or so and or until my hands get tired and the technique starts to fall apart but you should be able to keep it clean for a minute or so before that happens so that's day one on day two i'm going to bump the metronome up by three beats per minute so i'm going to go to 175 and i'm going to do the exact same thing i'm going to play the exercise at 175 for three or so minutes straight no distractions turn your phone off no social media or anything like that just just three minutes of your time dedicated to this one exercise playing it non-stop or until you know you feel pain or uh, discomfort in your fretting and picking hands. On Tuesday, you're gonna bump that up another three beats per minute. So you're gonna go to 178. And you're gonna do this day by day until you reach Saturday, which is the day you should hit your target tempo of 190. And you should be able to play that exercise cleanly at that tempo. Now, I found that this definitely works for me. Like, I remember the first time that I was shown this method, like I said, when I was in my first year of studying guitar at uni. And I think the first time I used it, it was when I was learning John Mayer's Neon for the first time. And at the time, you know, the technique used to play that song was so foreign to me that anytime I tried to play the song, I thought, man, I'm never gonna be able to do this. It just feels so alien. But by establishing an appropriate target tempo, a week in advance, I was able to build up, you know, good synchronization between my fretting and picking hands. And I was getting a lot closer to be able to, you know, play that complicated riff at the original tempo. Now, of course, my first target tempo that I set for playing that song was not, you know, the original tempo of the song, but that's not the point of a target tempo. Like I said earlier, you might have an end goal tempo, like what I said for that exercise 210 beats per minute like I absolutely could not play that cleanly at 210 beats per minute but I could you know realistically get up to 190 you know if today's Sunday the following Saturday that would be a release a realistic goal for me so this is all about you know like a long-term goal versus a short-term goal your target tempo is the short term and your end goal tempo that is the long-term goal now if you're watching this video and you're trying to play something a bit faster at the minute, whether it's a lick or a song, please go and try this tomorrow. Say tomorrow is your day one. Spend a bit of time figuring out your target tempo, which again should be a tempo at which you can play the piece almost cleanly, but with a few mistakes in there as well. So spend that first day figuring out your target tempo, work your way back over those seven days uh, until you find an appropriate starting tempo and just play the piece for three minutes or so straight don't stop until your hands start to feel a bit uncomfortable and then don't attempt to play any faster than that that day you might feel like you could but don't even if it's you know a very manageable tempo just stick to that day one tempo 
The following day, bump that metronome up by three beats per minute, do the same the day after that and the day after that and the day after that until you reach your target tempo seven days later. And come back to this video if you end up doing that and let me know how you got on because I'd be interested to know if this worked for you in the same way that it did for me. Like I said, it, uh, it didn't change my approach to building speed, it gave me an approach to follow for building speed with you know, anything on the guitar. Like I said, a song or an excerpt from a solo or a lick or an exercise. I really believe that this works for, for most guitar players and it's, you know, a clear method to follow for building speed that isn't just, you know, stick on a metronome at 120 beats per minute, increase the speed when you feel like it. What's that even supposed to mean when you feel like it? Like you're never going to feel ready, you just have to sort of do it, I guess. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, this wasn't really a pre-planned video, we're just in the studio, we had a bit of time to kill and this is actually a topic I'd, I'd wanted to share on the channel for years now and I thought, ah, let's just do it now. Yeah, so this was totally unscripted, but I hope that it was useful to those of you who are interested in the topic of building speed, which is, you know, let's be real, most guitar players. So if it was useful, please give it a like, share it with your guitar playing friends. My name is Ross Campbell. Again, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel for more lessons. You can find links to my instructional website, bulletproofguitarplayer.com, in the description box. And that about does it for today's video, guys. I hope to see you in the next one.